welcome to Nerezai Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In the last video, we did talk about how to use a data input stream to read the data from the keyboard dynamically in Java language. Now, especially in this video, I am going to be talk about how to read the data from the file by using a data input stream. So, here uh, let me take where exactly data input stream is available within the package like java dot io. So, already we uh, aware about this one in the last video java dot io dot uh, data input stream. With the help of the data input stream, we can able to read the data from the keyboard as well as what uh, files. Now, observe here, whenever we reading the data from the keyboard directly by using data input stream, internally using one uh, syntax like uh, system.in, it will taking support of uh, system.in. So, to recognize the input device. So, by using that uh, data input stream able to communicating with what uh, keyboard, but if you comes to the files data input stream data input stream not directly communicating with the files first it will communicating with the uh, file input stream or input stream reader uh, that is a file input stream that is file input stream. So, data input stream first uh, communicating with the uh, file input stream and with the help of the file input stream we can able to read the files data from the files and after that reading the data from the file by using file input stream we are going to be hand over the data to data input stream. So, before reading the data uh, let me highlight uh, how to place the data into the where uh, files. Now, under the byte stream we have uh, one more class like a data output stream with the help of this output stream and internally by using file output stream internally data output stream using what here file output stream we can place the data into where your file. So, this will uh, we will we will talk more and more elaborately about all those things in the files, but here my intention is according to our title how to read the data uh, dynamically either may be keyboard or from the file that is concept I am highlighting that is why I am not uh, stress more on top of this topic only I am concentrate on what here data input stream. So, here let me highlight. So, before uh, reading the data by using data input stream first uh, let me use or let me highlight how to write the data into the files. So, for that purpose we have one basic class that is a uh, file output stream fis equal to new file output stream new file output stream. Now, here I am writing one output stream like uh, kit dot uh, kit dot uh, txt I am taking one file uh, let me go to the desktop test nit dot txt everything I am going to be deleted. Now, observe guys here file output stream is communicating with what uh, kit dot txt if the kit dot txt is not existed file output stream itself creating the file on top of the current location what is the current location desktop. And with the help of the data output stream, we can able to send a different type of data. So, data output stream of FOS. So, data output stream is communicating with file output stream and file output stream will communicating with what here kt dot txt. Now, observe here we have a different methods under the data output stream. Let me show you those things a Java p java dot io dot data output stream. Yes, we have lot of methods. What are those? Write method, again write, write boolean, byte, short, char, int, long, float, double, cares. So, with the help of data output stream, we can send different type of data into the file. So, let me use that dys dot write here I am using one method like uh, write boolean method. Now, write boolean I am sending what type of data boolean data what is that data false or either I am just I am trying to send a true 
after that again again one more method ds dot write care i am sending one data like what a after that ds dot write int i am sending like 120 and ds dot write cares write cares here i am writing like a naresh i technologies so after that what i am doing just i am going to be compile this program so if you want to compile the program definitely we need to import these uh, statements so definitely import java dot io dot file output stream okay now in this time there is no requirement of uh, data input stream so let me delete it first so here i am writing import java dot io dot data output stream so let me let me compile this program java c data ds demo previously whatever the file we are using in the last video we am using same notepad yes java c ds dot java successfully compile after that what i am doing ds demo yes could not file uh, y uh, das capital i and s d capital i capital s demo yes so observe guys one file is created on top of the one name what is that kt.txt so i am not writing i am not created any file in on my desktop so who will create that file on top of the desktop uh, file output stream so internally file output stream will communicating with the files by using the files uh, class only file output stream can able to create a file now those details we will see in uh, hivo stream videos not right now now my intention is why am i highlighting this concept the reason is with the help of the data input stream not output stream we can able to read the data from the file also that's why i'm highlighting this concept data input stream das equal to data input stream das equal to new data input stream data input stream is not directly communicating with the file data input stream first communicating with what file input stream file or file input stream class now that is what uh, let me before using that as a constructor of data input stream i need to create so here i'm creating so file input stream fis equal to new file input stream so here i'm using the same file what is that kt dot txt kt dot txt yes now what i'm doing just i'm using system dot out dot printer line system dot out dot printer line what should i do ds dot read boolean ds dot read boolean after that control c yes so here observe first one is read boolean second one is what read care and the third one is read int and the fourth one is read a line i want to read more than one character read line string read line i'm using already in the last video we uh, faced one problem read line method is deprecated internally some problems are there now observe guys let me compile this program and as well as execute it then what type of uh, data we are going to be getting we can understand java c uh, das dot uh, ds demo dot java now we are getting one uh, uh, compiled errors the reason is file input stream and data input stream not recognized by the uh, compiler normal uh, error import uh, java dot uh, io dot uh, file uh, input stream and after that one more import statement java dot uh, io dot uh, data input uh, stream class yes so let me go to the uh, so let me compile again yes now data input stream is not directly communicating with what uh, files data input stream first communicating with what file input stream so what should i do i need to write here i need to write here what fis so data input stream data input stream communicating with 
file input stream and file input stream is communicating with what kt.txt. Now, after that observe here. Now, one more problem here is so this is a print ln this is anti this is anti as well as this is also what here anti print ln. Now, let me compile this program again uh, java c das uh, java c ds demo dot java s now successfully compile it so we are getting one warning message why we are getting warning message we are used one uh, deprecated method what is that real line method that is why compiler will giving what your warning message java dis uh, java dis uh, demo data input stream demo yes now we are getting the output like what here true it is a boolean char it is the what character data a 120 and here see a real line method will unable to read the data in proper manner after each and every character there is one more space is available so these are the drawbacks which we have related to while in the last video i told you like real line method is a deprecated method and the, the same real line method is also I am using for what reading the data from the files. Then you are facing some uh, problems with the help of the real line method we are facing some problem and in the whenever we reading the data from the command prompt we are using readint method that is also giving some unreliable result. So, most of the pro, most of the cases we are not choosing the data input stream and uh, uh, for reading the data from the keyboard as well as files. Now, one more important point is observe here just um, changing my order of reading control x and here I am pasting here control v. So, now uh, let me compile this program java c ds, ds demo dot java and after that let me executing then we have some problems if we have some problems yes something problem we are getting under file exception. That means what happened guys here the main problem is whatever the order we inserting the data into the file whatever the order we are inserting the data into the file in the same order we need to read it otherwise we will get unreliable a result so here i am sending what a boolean so definitely what should i do i want to read the data first boolean i want to read the data first what here boolean second what i am sending care here is also second reading state must and should be care third statement is what int here reading third statement is must and should be int here the fourth statement is what cares but here we have we do not have any read cares method we have an alternate method like a real line with the help of this real line method we can able to read the data from the file. So, here the main uh, uh, intention of this program is how to read the data from the file by using a data input stream ok. Uh, now, one more point here is data input stream is not directly communicating with uh, files it will internally uses what your file input stream object. The main uh, drawback of this program is whatever the order we inserted in the same order we need to read otherwise we will get uh, exception sometimes we will get uh, uh, unreliable result also. That is why most of the cases uh, we are not choosing this concept uh, in the real world we are always choosing like uh, instead of choosing like this one we are go for a serialization process and uh, for reading the data from the file and instead of reading the data from the keyboard by using data input stream either we should choose what here buffer reader and uh, as well as scanner class. So, here most of the case uh, most of the time I am telling we are not uh, choosing a data input stream due to the uh, drawbacks which we have related to data input stream class. Now, uh, in the next video, I am going to be talk about uh, one more way to read the data that is what a uh, final one that is what a uh, final one that is what a uh, system dot get property method and after uh, uh, that I am going to be talk about how to read the swing uh, data from the keyboard from using swing awt and applet. Now, I am going to be conclude which one is the better one up to now I covered 5 types command line argument in the command line argument we are facing four problems one is programmer must and should be remember the number of values which we are passing in the command prompt 
and programmer must and should be recognize a value type as well as the third one is a uh, programmer itself writing the conversion logic and fourth one is we already face that boolean related exception among these four exception buffer reader will solve only two things no need to remember number of values no need to remember type of value but again we are going to be face uh, problems like uh, boolean related exception as well as a uh, conversion logic and if you go for the data input stream the data input stream again whatever the uh, uses uh, methods we are using buffer reader same method we are using read line method it is also used to read the data from the keyboard and uh, as well as a file and whenever we reading the data from the keyboard uh, we are always using the read line method by using a read line method we are reading the string data after that we need to convert into the uh, different type of format so the same thing we had with the buffer reader and if you are using the read int method we are facing some unreliable result as well as if you go for the console so console is also always reading the data in the string format but it is have an extra feature that is what a security already we had that concept in the last before video so among uh, i am highlighting uh, four things but fifth one is what scanner so whatever the drawbacks which we have type of value number of value conversion logic and uh, boolean related problems and un unreliable result problems everything is going to be solved by what your java.util.scanner introduced in the version of 1.5 so this is most preferable one to read data from the keyboard as well as uh, files that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe naresh i technologies channel thank you